Hello, everyone. In this session, we will talk about API monitoring. So using Postman, you can monitor your APIs uh, just like cron jobs. So you can run APIs and get the status minute-wise, hourly, daily, and weekly also. And so API monitoring is very useful, let's say, when you have a nightly jobs, but during testing, you want to run them per minute so that it does not hamper your testing. Or let's say you want to monitor certain APIs that my server is up and running or some of the service calls are up and running. Or maybe you want to uh, monitor your production calls that uh, the main APIs is working fine uh, during uh, the whole day whenever you are testing something and also to get notified when something fails on production. So API monitoring really helps you to uh, perform your task uh, uh, with better productivity. So how do I monitor this? So let's say this is by collection. Under Builder API, I have a valid API, uh, which is used for login, right? So I will use staging, build a staging credential. And you can see this, is, uh, this API is working fine. Now let's say I want to monitor the collection, this collection. So what I will do, I will click on this menu dot 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 and then there is an option monitor collection so when you click on that you'll get some configuration related stuff now here you can specify which environment you want to use you can specify uh, the version tag okay uh, so basically when you create multiple versions of api monitoring you can use these tags and then you can specify how do you run this this is like a cron job expression you want to run it weekly every day okay uh, so in the or minute wise right every five minutes every 10 minutes so you can select that just like a cron job once that is done uh, you can also select region like in which region you want to run uh, but here i would say automatically select okay and if i click on show additional stuff here receive email notification for run failures and errors okay so basically uh, this is very useful when something fails in production you can just click on that and use this request delay if you want to give some delays request timeout again timeout retry if uh, if run fails and how many times right so it could be useful for staging api sometimes staging api does not work due to system restarts so you can say retry two times until it works and then if it is failing more than two times then it's an issue so something like that so for this case i'm going to select this one right and here i would say let let's send me an email when on this email address okay and you want you can add any as many as uh, notifications uh, email addresses up to five and in the paid plan you can add multiple also like up to ten okay uh, so stop notification after t consecutive failures this is again an option so let's say uh, you don't want to get like get spams in your email so once the something is not working and you get three emails you want to stop them so that you can configure from here okay so everything is set up now we can create a api monitor okay so api monitor has been created now uh, how can I check this? I can click on this web dashboard. And once web dashboard opens up, so you can see this is the view and it says because we created it recently, this monitor has not run yet. So you can manually run this and otherwise it will run every five minutes that is already configured. But let's say you want to run it manually, you can just click run and uh, you can see it has ran, right? So it was successful, you mean successful. And if you want to pause, you can pause using this. You want to delete, you can delete this. And if you want to change interval, you can change interval just like this, right? 
so this is how you can uh, create monitors and monitor api now you can see uh, status code name has string failed i um, made this mistake so that we can see so it so you can see console log here test results status name has string right test results here it this test failed because of this reason right api was failing not failing but uh, i had a condition in test script which was failed so i uh, made it failure because i want to show you that how will you get the notification so if i open notification now so i chose chandan.fa as the email address here you can see you received a, a notification for postman using postman monitor that there are some failure in builder apis right so the builder api run at this time uh, there is a 200 on api filter but this this test test condition failed so now using this you can click and view the details just like we viewed earlier okay so i hope it is clear now how can you configure monitors in api and then how can you run them manually from here and how can it run uh, using some interval just like this every five minutes and how will you get the notification from email from postman okay so this is very useful feature uh, to monitor production api to monitor main apis in staging also or you want to run some cron jobs uh, during the daytime which runs usually runs uh, during the night time i hope you like this session see you in the next session